Let's first start off with Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. As soon as you get saved in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's a great thing. It's a blessed thing. However, the thing is, is that there are people who are also confused. So after you're saved, then you're like, okay, so now what, right? <laughs> so what's going to happen right here? So I want to be ready. Why am I confused? Because I want to be ready for the judgment seat of Christ. A lot of you have heard about this judgment seat of Christ. What is God going to do? He's going to reward you gold, silver, precious stones. He's also going to give you cities on this earth to rule. And just a little bit we heard today in our teaching, earlier in the teaching, he's going to give you all things to literally rule and to own. And he also is going to give you five different crowns, etc. So then I've had people want to be prepared for the judgment seat of Christ. People are wondering what's next to do. What can I do? What can I do next to serve the Lord? Well, as a saved person, it's not something where you think you have to be dramatic. And as soon as you get saved, you feel like there's a lot of things you got to do. Let me ask you this question. Here's another thing. It's not the judgment seat of Christ. What if the rapture happened right now? Are you ready? If the rapture happened right now. Are you ready to face the Lord? Are you f ready that you accomplished everything in life? That's, why some th that's why being a pre-tribber is very important. Pre-tribulation. In other words, we believe there's a rapture before the tribulation because we believe any moment, any time we could get raptured. That's why it urges us the stress and the importance. Hey, man, it's not like I have several years of tribulation to go through so I can make up for Jesus Christ. I got to do it now. Amen. I got to do it now to serve the Lord. So that's why there are people who want to serve the Lord. So what can I do, Pastor? All right, the first thing, okay, you ready? So this one is something that's going to be important for you. The Bible, okay? Read the Bible. Study the Bible. Memorize the Bible. What are you doing with your Bible? Go to Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Joshua chapter oh, 1 and yeah, verse 8. The Bible says... In Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8, This book of the law <clears throat> shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way, what? Prosperous. And then thou shalt have, what? Good success. So then you can be ready. You are ready with success for the Lord. So what you need is to memorize, read, study the Bible. You might say, well, pastor, I don't know how to read the Bible. It's hard to understand. Trust me, every baby Christian at the beginning feels like it's overwhelming. That's right. But when you keep reading, memorizing, and studying, you're going to get the common gist of the language there, and then you're going to find out it's actually easier than you thought. And then as years pass by, you're going to find out this book is easier to read than any school textbook that you've read. Amen. Trust me. I mean, when I read the Bible, man, I find it so much easier to understand than a bunch of cases at law school or with all these science textbooks, man. I have to like reread, highlight words. This thing, I can just go like that. You know why? Because it's getting used to it. So everyone has that at the beginning, so just read it. You might say, uh, well, pastor, I want to buy me a Bible. Go to our resources link. That's below in our video. And below our video is a resources link. And then it'll give you a chance to buy a Ruckman Reference Bible. You can even get it for $25. $25, really cheap. This book is going to have 118 appendices in the back. It's filled with notes from top to bottom. And guess what? Most of the teachings you hear from me online is from that Reference Bible. I think you're going to grow really fast. That's why we post this. $25, man, you can get it even. If you want a really nice one, wide margin where you write notes, nice lambskin cover, they also have those too. Several options. Go buy one. Prayer. You need to pray. How's your prayer life? All right, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. You don't have to turn there. It reads, pray without ceasing. So you need to have a strong prayer life. Why is that, preacher? That way, the more you pray, you can find out more things that can help out the church. The number one thing you can contribute to helping God's people on this earth is the power of prayer.
That's the number one thing. You know why? Because you're asking God's power to help somebody out there. And when God sees your prayers, see, even if you're sick and bedridden, you can't do anything for God. Do you see how vital this tool is? This is probably the most important thing you'll ever see out of all the other steps is this one. This is one thing anybody, anybody, and everybody can do is prayer. The third thing you got to get involved in is this is important. You need to go to church. Go to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Hebrews 10, verse 25. Why is that, Pastor? Well, think about this. If we didn't have a church here, how would you see me? How would I teach and preach? Not only that, if there is no gathering of believers, think about this. How many of you have been watching? I'm going to give evidence of not myself. I'm going to give evidence of people in this church. How many of you have been researching for a long time, watching stuff online, but there is a big difference with just sitting down watching online and coming here in church? Isn't there a big difference? Yeah. We had, I mean, uh, I'm not going to mention the name, but we had, even had a brother all the way from Canada just coming over here because there's a big difference here. See, that's why a lot of people online, they're skeptical about that. Okay, but all these pe a lot of these people here, they're onliners. And they realize there's a big difference. You know why? Because there's a difference, Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Yeah. So as this day, rapture comes closer, church is necessary because of this fellowship of people boost each other energy even more to do great things for God. It is easier and more helpful to serve God in church. Because all the questions that you have messed up in heresies, once you get into church, it's cleaned off. You get a pastor over there and say believers who help get you in the right track. Not only that, you also have not only right doctrine cleaned up real fast. I mean, that beats online. Online, you, do you know how long it's going to take for you? How long? I mean, amen, right? And my evidences are onliners. How long did it take for you guys? But it could have just been solved by just simply giving a phone call to the pastor dropping by a church, and you're like, oh, it's pretty much cleaned off after that. Not only that, not only is your doctrine straightened, but your practice is straightened too. Because there are so many people who have wrong kind of practice, observing, living. And when they come to church, they get the gist here, the common sense, oh, so... Uh, that music is wrong. This dressing is actually wrong too. And oh, you shouldn't talk that way too. And you got to see it, the common sense just comes in. That's why this is important, church. The fourth thing, what you need to do is soul winning. Soul winning. Oh, by the way, for those people online, well, I want to get involved in a Bible believing church. Go to our resources link. Our resource, why do you think it's called resources? It's there for, to give you everything that you need to grow, to get ready for this day. So we'll have a church directory for you to go to. Those of you who are outside of the States, then uh, you always email us. Uh, our website, I'll write it over here, our website. Go to our website, bbcenglish.org. Uh, obviously, it's not in all caps, okay? I'm just writing it in caps so you can see clearly. Go to bbc, www.bbcenglish.org, and then you'll see a resources tab on the top right hand corner. In the top right hand corner, you'll see a nice little button called resources. You'll even see at the front page. Click on that, it'll give you all the instructions. The fourth thing to do is soul winning. You need to win souls. Because trust me, when you win souls, you get the common sense just of how people are, yeah. how to minister to them. And not only that, all kinds of different religions and beliefs. So soul winning is very important. Uh, the Bible says in Acts, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, God has given us the ministry of what? Reconciliation, to reconcile the world unto himself. It is your job to lead soul salvation. One of the five crowns in heaven is called the soul winner's crown, you've got to understand. You might say, well, pastor, I don't know how to soul win. Uh, how do I do soul winning? That's why if you went here, you get an opportunity to go soul winning. You get free tracks to pass out. The best thing you can do is that, well, pastor, uh, I'm online. Uh, I don't have a church to go to. Buy tracks. The best advice I can give to you is buy chick tracks. Chick tracks, what they are, 
is that they are comic tracks. All you have to do is go to our bbcenglish.org again, resources. It'll have a track section. Click on that. You'll get free comic tracks. Well, I don't know what to say to people. You don't even have to say anything. After you eat at a restaurant, leave it behind. Pass by a car, leave it on a car door. Yeah. You're the shy type. After you pump in gas, put in the gas pump. Not only that, uh, who will say no to a free comic? Hi, I would like to give you a free comic. Yep. Works, all the time. Works all the time. Works all the time. Well, uh, man, pastor, it's that simple. Yeah, not only that, this soul winning thing could help you if you do number five. We have a discipleship class. Why do you think I started that? Because I had people here who wanted help, who want to grow. We have a discipleship playlist video. Go to our YouTube channel, find the discipleship playlist. Click on it. It will give you step by step every detail you need, and you will grow. You will grow. All right? I I've seen members here grow. And if you do that, I know you don't have a pastor or a church. But that leaves no excuse. That's why we've been live streaming to you. That's why we posted these discipleship videos for you. Because I don't I want everyone to be ready for this day. Amen. So Amen. but if you have a church nearby, you got a double blessing, you know that? Now you got a church to go under as well as the discipleship videos. That would be a double blessing, don't you think? And I know of some people who do that. And I know of, I can give you testimonies of online people who are now teaching, preaching, and led soul salvation, and sometimes even street preaching, because they were involved in both this and this. I want to encourage you guys. All right, now you're without excuse. Go to our resources link at the end of this video. I didn't put that at the end of our video for a reason. Don't just think, oh, it's the end credit scene as usual. No, it's there for a reason. <laughs> Go.